In this video, we're going to learn how to access rows in a pandas data frame by the index name. So we're going to start by just loading in a data set to work with here. And you can see in this data set, the rows have different index names, one for each car. So if we wanted to access a row using this index name string, we can do that using the data frame function dot lock. So we'll give an example here. Here's our data frames name. So we say that first empty cars dot lock. And within these square brackets, we pass in the name of the row we want to get. So in this case, we're going to pass in this string that's in 710. That means we'll get this third row here. So let's run that and see that we did get the desired row. Now you can also access multiple rows by index name at the same time if you want to. In that case, instead of just passing in this one car name here, we're going to pass in a list of car names. And we run that, we will get three different rows associated with these row names. Now, in some cases, you might want to both get specific rows and specific columns all at the same time. And we can do that as well using dot lock. We just have to pass in another list for the columns that we want. So I'll give an example here. This time we're going to access these same rows. So we're doing empty cars dot lock again, and we're going to pass in this first list is the rows we want. But now we're going to say comma. And then we're going to pass in another list, and this is going to be indexing into the columns we want. So we're going to get these three rows now, but we're also going to subset it down to only getting these three columns. So we should get a three by three data frame back now instead of one that has all the columns. So I'll run that and see that that is the case. That's the basics of getting rows by index names in pandas. If you found this video useful, you can drop a like and hit subscribe. And thanks for watching.